Okay, so here we have a 2008 Toyota Corolla, a 1.8 liter four cylinder. Uh, we're gonna do the spark plugs today. So the first thing we need to do is remove the engine cover, the top plate here, so we can get down to the spark plugs. All right, so now we're going to remove uh, the coil packs. All right, so we have four of them. Each one has a 10 millimeter bolt to it and also a connector. Uh, so we're going to remove the bolt and connector for each one. All right, so there's a little, just in case you didn't know, what I'm doing is I'm pushing down this tab here. Uh, to release the lockdown. All right, so now we have them. We'll go ahead and pull our coil packs off. All right, so we have, so there's a little, the, we have a valve cover gasket, and each one of these has a gasket. So it looks like we have some oil seeping down. We'll see what the rest of them look like. Yeah. All right, so it's looking, not too bad, but if that, gets, if that gets any worse, that's gonna cause a misfire. Oh, wow. Okay, there might be some overhang here from this wiring harness. Okay, so we were just hitting, it was just overlap there a little bit. All right, so the, that one was not that bad. This one's not that bad. So it is starting to leak. Uh, what will happen is these will get oil soaked. These are the wires. We have the coil pack and we have the wire and then we have the plug we'll go ahead and get now. Okay, so now we're gonna remove the spark plugs. Uh, these ones here, these are 5 8 Okay, so this is a specialty socket for the spark plugs. There's actually a rubber uh, gasket inside here so that once we remove the spark plug, uh, the, the rubber will hold the spark plug uh, and then we can fish it out of there so it'll stick into the uh, socket there. And there we can see the oil uh, starting to build up and the plug was heating it up. When I pull spark plugs out, I like to um, definitely keep in mind where the plug was located. Uh, I like to lay them up side by side so I know. Then I can, I can physically inspect the difference. I can, I'll be able to see the difference and then know exactly what cylinder is, is a problem or is running better than the rest. All right, so for the most part, all these plugs have the same, same color, same, same wear, same looking. Nothing stands out as being one cylinder is different than the other. All right, so we'll go ahead and we'll get our, our new uh, plugs out. Okay, so here we have our new plugs. Um, we're going with Denso. So it's very important um, being that this is a coil over plug, these um, are very specific. So we, have, we pulled NGKs out, we went ahead and went back with Denso 
which is, uh, you know, this, these are Denso coils for Toyota. It's pretty close to being a factory part, if not a factory part. Uh, but for the electronics and the load of the cathode and all that stuff, we want to um, have the same resistance. This is, a, you know, it's a resistance value for the spark. So we want to make sure that these play good together. So if we put a conventional plug in, eventually we're going to overwork the coil. So we want to make sure that, that we have the, the correct item in. Second one is, is normally on the bottom of a car uh, here, uh, we, have our, we have our emissions control. It tells us what our valve should be set at, the valve, guy, uh, the valve clearance um, for lash, things like that. It does not tell us what the gap is. Um, cars do usually put that there. But being that they don't want you to adjust these, that it, they should come from the factory, uh, from, the, you know, from when you buy it, they should be good. So normally I just eye them up, especially this, because I don't want to mess anything up. I don't want to, um, if you look real close, you can see a nipple on the top of the strap. I mean, compared to an old one that has the same, so spark, Spark jumps from sharp edge to sharp edge. That's the cleanest spark that we get. So that's why we don't really want to mess with it. I kind of, they all look pretty good. If you, if you have any questions, I mean, they do make a spark plug. Uh, you know, you would just put it in there. We'll do an, an old one and you can just kind of run it and it'll tell you, you know, 40. So that's like 42. That would be the gap. If you needed to gap it more, you know, you get in there and you bend it or you, or you tap it closed. That's, that's um, kind of an, a, the way plugs have been. So we just want to look, make sure that they weren't damaged in the box, the gap's not closed, they all have an even gap. We really don't want to mess around too much with, with that. All right, the second part of that is we just want to put a little dielectric grease, some anti-seas, right on the threads. Um, what that's going to do is it's an aluminum head, you know, it's a stainless metal here, corrosions and, and, and uh, just you don't want to have a hard time getting this plug out and say another 50,000 miles. So you just put a little bit of this on there and that'll help uh, keep, keep that down, the anti-seize. I just go ahead, I just put a little bit on, don't want to put too much. don't have to go all the way around, you just got to get one side because as you start threading it down, uh, it's going to spin itself all the way around. All right, so we'll go ahead and start putting these plugs in now. I do all this by hand too. I don't, um, I like to get it nice and seated. You don't want to have a cross thread in this. Um, this definitely be the worst place to, to cross threads. So I go ahead, I put them all hand tight and then I come back and I will, uh, I'll do it. I'll do my final. So what I'm doing is I thread them in till they're, till they're hand tight. So this is a crush washer, a crush seal. Then that final tighten will push this and crush it down. That'll add the locking load like a lock washer. Uh, to hold it in. So that would be the reasoning why we're doing that. And then the other thing I would just say just has yeah, something to know. So you're putting plugs in, you got the anti-seize down here. If you're a smoker, definitely want to make sure you wash your hands before you, uh, you know, before you have a cigarette holding, holding any of that anti-seize or any of that stuff that's, um, that'd be very bad for you. And you'll be able to feel it'll you get a little tight and then all of a sudden it gets really, really tight. That, that would be torqued down. So it's about a half a turn on them once they're seated or so. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put the coils back in. These ones were numbered uh, for whatever reason. They came like that. Uh, 
it really doesn't matter um, which one they go in, they're all going to be the same. But if you had a problem, say you had a misfire and one of them misfire number two, and you move, mis you num move number two to number one, now your misfire moved. Uh, make it harder to diagnose that problem. If you were trying to do spark plugs for a diagnostic reason, like a miss or something. We're just doing maintenance here, so it's not a, a concern. All right, so we're all set. We're ready to uh, take this car for a test drive.